What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. I discovered a new probiotic that is unlike any other. The vast majority of probiotics on the market right now claim to be generally good for your health, but Pendulum is different because it targets a specific problem, glucose control. Over the past month since starting Pendulum, I have seen a drastic drop in my glucose spikes after high carb meals. I have more energy throughout the day and that brain fog after a cheat meal is no longer a problem. This product has been a game changer for me and I have pretty good insulin sensitivity. For people with type two diabetes or who are pre-diabetic, this impact could be even more profound. So in this video, I sit down with one of the founders of Pendulum to discuss everything about this probiotic. I've also done a lot of research to investigate their claims. And so I will share with you my own personal data and tell you why I think this probiotic could potentially transform your health. Also, side note, you might notice a little bit of a different background this week. I'm actually filming on location at a tiny home outside LA. And so next week's video is gonna be all about grounding and my full review of the Biomat. So stay tuned for that. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. Now, before we jump into the science, a quick disclaimer. This product is not cheap. It's more than triple the cost of a high quality probiotic on the market right now. Now, that being said, the company does know that price is a huge factor and they are working to bring down costs. And we will definitely get into why it's so expensive in just a bit. But stick around to the end as I address who I think should buy this probiotic and why for some Pendulum could be priceless. So first off, how does Pendulum work? And we're about to get a little bit nerdy guys, but I will try to keep things as high level as possible for this video. And if you wanna dive deeper into the science, then check out my full interview with the CEO of Pendulum in the description below. So let's start with the very basics. Pendulum is a probiotic supplement. It contains unique strands of good bacteria, which are aimed at helping the body do two major things, break down fiber and produce butyrate. Now, before I get ahead of myself, what is butyrate? So butyrate is a short chain fatty acid that does a whole host of things for the microbiome, including fortifying the gut lining, helping reduce inflammation and helping regulate insulin levels in the body. Small amounts of it are found naturally in butter, but it's primarily made in your digestive system from eating foods high in fiber and resistant starch, like cooked and cooled potatoes. So that being said, what is the link here between butyrate production and type two diabetes? And that my friends is where Pendulum has been spending the better part of the last decade doing all their research. And so I sat down with their CEO, Colleen Cutcliffe, to help me understand why certain populations don't have the necessary microbes to actually produce enough butyrate. When we identified these strains and we identified their functions, we identified them because they were really in vast abundance, really high in healthy people and low or entirely missing in people with diabetes and prediabetes and obesity. And the idea is, well, if you don't have those microbes, all the fiber you're eating is literally going right through you. You're not getting all of that blood sugar management that you would be getting if you had the right microbes. And so we're really just giving them back to you. So here's the bottom line on butyrate. Without enough of it, your body is gonna have a really hard time just performing its basic metabolic processes like regulating blood sugar. And in turn, this can also impact things like your immune system and the health of your gut lining. Now, an easy way to check what your butyrate levels are is to do a microbiome test. And if you wanna dive even deeper into the research, I've included a number of links to clinical trials and PubMed articles in the description below if you wanna go nerd out on some of that stuff. So now that we've touched on the science, let's talk about when you start seeing results and what those results might look like. You take one capsule of this iridescent purple pill two times a day with food, once in the morning and once in the evening. And according to the research, it usually takes around three months before you start seeing any major changes to your glucose levels and A1C. And that is your average blood sugar over the course of three months. And if you think about it, that time frame actually does make sense. Your red blood cells start turning over after three months and your microbiome can go through changes after three months. And this is a probiotic supplement after all. Now, obviously results will vary for everyone, 
And for me, I actually started to see changes to my glucose spikes within the first month of taking it. And we'll get to those results in just a sec. But I think it's really important to mention the efficacy of this product. Not only is this considered a medical probiotic that has the support of the ADA, Johns Hopkins, and the Mayo Clinic, but it's also been scientifically validated through a number of clinical trials. And the results that you'll see here show pretty significant changes to the A1C and meal-related blood glucose levels in people with type 2 diabetes. Obviously, the results will vary from person to person, and you should definitely reach out to your medical professional before trying anything, especially if you're already on diabetes management medication. But even their clinical trials showed no contraindications for those already on metformin, and in fact, they actually saw improvements to the A1C levels of those taking both. So the question here is, could this potentially replace metformin? Well, it's obviously too soon to say, but I do think it is amazing to see a natural supplement come onto the market that's already having as profound results as this one. Which leads me to my next point, my own pendulum results. So I do not have type 2 diabetes nor any history of it in my family. But when I heard Kevin Rose talk about the probiotic on his podcast and how it dramatically decreased his glucose spikes, I just had to give it a shot myself. So I wore a CGM for the two weeks before taking Pendulum just to get a baseline for my levels. I then took the probiotic for about three weeks before putting back on my NutriSense CGM. And here are what my results looked like. To start, I saw a huge jump in my glucose time within range. And to simplify things just a little bit, the higher your time and range, the lower your chance of developing complications. So for me, this actually went up 12 percentage points from 82 before taking Pendulum to 94% on Pendulum, which basically took me from the red zone into the green. My standard deviation also improved. And this number measures the fluctuation of blood sugars in the body. So you're looking for a smaller number in this situation. And as you'll see here, I saw a 10% decrease in my levels dropping from 20.3, which put me in the suboptimal range, to just 10.6 while taking Pendulum. And perhaps one of the most telling stats of all was my maximum glucose level. Now this number dropped from 158 max to 145 max on Pendulum. And since my diet pretty much stayed the same, something must have changed. Now I will say that my fasting glucose levels did stay the same throughout the trial, and that's because pendulum is really working on your response to food. And to zoom in just a little bit further, here are some examples of the meals I ate during both trials to see how the numbers compare. So for my morning bulletproof S coffee elixir, I saw my spike at 106 before pendulum, and then that fell down to 99 after a month on this probiotic. Another example is my experiment with blackberries. Now before pendulum, after a plate of blackberries, my levels peaked to 158, and this compares to just 133 after only three and a half weeks on this supplement. Even this drop took my nutritionist at NutriSense by surprise, and I wasn't even on the probiotic for that long. And anecdotally, I just felt better. I used to prefer running in the morning because that's when I had the most energy. But after a couple of weeks on Pendulum, I started to get a second wind in the afternoon and shifted my runs to the later evenings. And even after a couple of high carb meals for lunch, I really wasn't feeling that normal brain fog and sluggishness that usually happens. I was still plowing through my afternoon work. And finally, we come to price, which in my opinion is really the only downside of this product right now. At the time of this video, a Pendulum subscription is going to cost you $165 a month. It's not covered by insurance, but you can use your FSA to help cover some of the costs. And I will say the subscription comes with a nutrition consultation and two A1C tests. So I talked to Colleen about this pretty openly and I asked her why it's so pricey and what they're doing about it. It's priced where it is because that's how much it costs to make. And we're, we're not actually even making, we're, we're just barely covering the cost of making it. It has to do with the fact that these are anaerobes and so they require special manufacturing. It has to do with the fact that they are um, sensitive to heat and so we have to keep everything cold and oxygen out of the entire system from the minute we start to grow them to the minute that they're sitting in your bottle. And she added that the team is working to improve the stability of their homegrown bacteria strains, which 
could help translate into lower shipping costs down the line. Now, again, I want to reiterate, I was blown away by this product. And yes, I am a full paying customer. I am not sponsored or affiliated with this company in any way. And even though the price is really high right now and maybe not affordable for everyone, I really wanted to share this amazing research and science with you guys, because I think the stuff that they're doing at Pendulum is really cutting edge. And even if this video just helps one person, then it was worth every single penny. And if you want to learn more, I will include the links to Pendulum's website, as well as my full interview with Colleen in the show notes below. So make sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned something, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So you get notified each week when I drop a new video and make sure to keep it dialed in right here for next week's episode, where I compare the benefits and effects of grounding in nature to the biomat. You won't want to miss that. So thanks again. And I can't wait to see you on the next one.